proton in motion makes a head on collision with an unknown particle at rest okay so what is that there is a proton which is having a mass of m1 let us say and it is having a velocity u1 it is colliding with another particle of mass m2 but its velocity is equal to 0 if the collision is perfectly elastic and the proton rebounds with actually this is 4 by 9 of its initial kinetic energy after the collision the mass of the unknown particle is okay so what are the informations given here they have said that the collision is elastic which means e equal to 1 and the final kinetic energy is equal to the initial kinetic energy and by e equal to 1 we mean the velocity of uh, separation is equal to the relative velocity of approach so v2 minus v1 is equal to u1 minus u2 so these two things you have to keep in mind and the other thing is they have said that the proton is rebounding with 4 by 9 times of its initial kinetic energy so what is the final kinetic energy of the proton they are saying that it is equal to 4 by 9 times the initial kinetic energy so half m1 u1 square will be the initial kinetic energy of the proton 4 by 9 times of that is the final kinetic energy so in that case we can just simply write half and m1 will get cancelled so v1 is equal to 2 by 3 times of u1 okay when we take the square root but we know square root has plus and minus both here the particle has rebounded okay the proton is rebounding which means we have to consider the negative sign right and in that case we can substitute in the equation v2 minus v1 equal to u1 minus u2 so when we substitute that v2 minus of minus 2 by 3 so that will be plus 2 by 3 u1 equal to u1 minus 0 because the second particle is at rest so from that we will get v2 is equal to u1 minus 2 by 3 of u1 so that is equal to u1 by 3 okay so this is the velocity of the second particle now applying the kinetic energy conservation so we have half m1 u1 square plus half m1 sorry m2 u2 square equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square so we just have to uh, substitute all the values and we will get the answer so half m1 u1 square you write as it is because that is a given and this term is going to be 0 okay and this side you have half m1 v1 square what is v1 2 by thirds of u1 so when we square it the negative sign goes away so that is going to be 4 by 9 times of u1 square plus half m2 into v2 square what is v2 v2 is u1 by 3 so we will get u1 square divided by 9 okay and you can see half is common in all the three terms so we can remove it and then we have m1 u1 square you can take it common and you can bring this to the left hand side you will have 1 minus 4 by 9 is equal to m2 u1 square divided by 9 so u1 square u1 square is cancelled and then we have and then we have m1 into 9 minus 4 by 9 that is 5 by 9 is equal to m2 divided by 9 so 9 and 9 gets cancelled so we have m2 is 5 times the mass of the proton